Guys, what's going on? The purpose of this video is going to be to show you how I take a blog post written in Google Docs that's already formatted in a, in a way that I like in Google Docs and then get it going in WordPress. So how to get it formatted in WordPress. So with the new Gutenberg editor, it's actually pretty cool. So I was using a tool before, so I've tried two plugins. One is a company called Wordable. Another one is Mammoth uh, DocX. DocX, let's find that. I can just show you these tools real quick. So Wordable is one. It's like $19 a month is where it starts. And then uh, let's see DocX Converter here. I've tried both of them. And while while they're rated well, they're rated high, I don't find them necessary. Um, and the reason why is just, I, I don't know if it's the new Gutenberg editor or what it is, but it, it works pretty well just to copy and paste. I found that even with those tools, I was still having to do the same amount of formatting and adjustments. And so I kind of just said, okay, let's just, Let's just keep doing what I'm doing. So I just copied my entire article from Google Docs. Let me put that down here, paste it. <clears throat> so here it is, I don't know, it did some weird formatting thing per second, maybe it was just, obviously it had to take some time to, to get it over, so. Um, so here's the article. Now I'm gonna, now let me take the, the title and put it up here in the title block. That's the first thing I'm going to do. So this heading block, I actually don't have one. Let me go back up to the top. And what you can do is you can kind of look at your article and see how you want it to how you want it to go and whatnot. What I what I have found is that the spacing needs some improvement. And you can confirm here. Okay, great. This is an H2 tag, H2, which is what I want. I have noticed that if you do something like this and you are you are uh, numbering a system, so if you're numbering, I found that sometimes you have to go in and edit those. So that's one thing that you'll probably have to change. See, so you notice that this is this is not an H3 tag, and you can probably not have this issue if you decide not to number. So if you decide not to have a numbering system, that's probably something that you can you can avoid. The other thing that you are going to want to do is add your alt text, your alternative text. So that is something that will not carry over. From your Google Doc if you have them and, and again, with those two tools, I did not find that the it did not carry over either the alt text. Therefore, I, I was having to retype it anyway. So do those things. So I'm going to make those updates on this document, and then I'll come back and kind of show you some of the additional formatting that I do. Okay, so I've made a lot of those changes already that I've discussed that I was just talking about. Here's a preview of the post one of the things that I additionally like to change is I want a space, additional space between this and between this to give this a little bit more buffer, uh, another space after this, and then uh, so to give a more gap between here. So I can do that real quick and show you what that looks like. There may be a quicker and a better way to do this in some sort of default formatting. I don't know the answer to that yet. So currently this is my method. Uh, if you know of a better way, let me know in the comments. But this is how I'm currently doing it until I figure out if there's a better method. And so here is the preview after I created a little bit of spacing between those. And to me, this looks better. So it doesn't look as, as crammed together. And I may even want one more space before I start number two. So you, again, let me scroll down. You'll see how it's kind of crammed a little bit more. Like here's an example, not yet spaced. So I think I'll actually put two two spaces before the next item begins. And then that's, uh, so that is the formatting that I'll do. Um, I'll pause one more time when I'm completely done. I'll scroll through and show you the finished product and tell you how long it took. All right, so after, it probably took me approximately 
I will say probably two, five minutes, maybe, maybe up to 30 minutes to at, at max. Of course, I took a little break, but to kind of format this document, uh, this blog post article. Now, it's a really long article. We're talking 2,500 words, 3,000 words. You can see how many images that I have here. So really, really long time. But I uh, just so... To recap, the final things that I did with uh, during that break was every image I went through and gave it alt text. Then what I did was I spaced before and after like headings. I gave it a one full space, as you can see here on the back end. So I want to show you what it looks like. Then before a new heading, I gave it I gave it two spaces, so one space between images. Again, here two spaces before this, and I'll show you. So here's the preview of what it looks like on the front end. So it's just nicely, nicely spaced. Now, if you're using Divi, which I am, it's possible that there is a way to help automatically do this, as I just recently set up my Divi te uh, theme uh, theme builder. So basically, kind of created where every post automatically has this on the right. Every post automatically has my title like this, a dynamic image. All I have to do is add that image, and then every post at the bottom is going to have some information. So some related posts, a way to subscribe, all this other information, comments. So really cool. If you don't already use Divi as a theme. Highly recommended. I've like converted every one of my websites over to Divi. I'll put a link down below um, so that you can check out you can check out Divi. But that's the process that I go through currently for formatting. I find that it's just as easy to copy and paste straight into the Gutenberg editor and then just create the final formatting that you want rather than uh, you know I've spent a few hours like I said looking at Wordable and the Mammoth Doc uh, plugin uh, DocX and I find it just as easy to kind of do it myself and I feel like it actually maybe turns out a little bit better so there you go there you have it connect with me subscribe to the channel if you haven't already please like the video give it a thumbs up share it with a friend maybe that someone that you know that's a blog writer that's trying to figure out hey what's the best way to do this formatting and um, and yeah and I look forward to connecting with you soon and take care get out there make sure you destroy the box don't just think outside of it take care